Welcome to The Naomi Show. Hello there, I'm here at home with my three dating experts, three gorgeous girls, Tiffany Hall, Totty Goldsmith and Sam Downey. Now, guys often say they just don't understand women and the way they think. So today my panel are here to help guys with their burning questions about girls and their behaviour. And guys, today we're going to give you some tips on some of the things not to do on the first date if you're looking for a long-term relationship, or at least you want to see your date again. So girls, what are some of the top tips? Toddy, what do you think? Well, for me, there's, there's a couple. Number one is don't run late. Because if you're yep. late on your first date, I'll be on guard from then on because there's nothing, as a Virgo, there's absolutely nothing <laughs> worse for me. But it's not just about being a Virgo, is it, girls? It's about respect. I mean, if you really like someone, you make the effort to be on time, so it kind of sends a really bad yeah, message right from the start. Yeah. And also, I think we should go back to the tradition that is now ancient of picking a woman up, yes. coming over, knocking on the door, having the guts to come in, mm. pick you up, so you don't have to worry about car parking, and driving and you know I have never been picked up on a date <gasps> really never that ever is. are you kidding me I have right. never no ever way. 25 and I've never been picked up in the car it's always meet me here oh and you my feel goodness. yeah what about you Sam no, I've never been picked up actually but really I think it's it like an totally impression. Shocked. Like, you need to make that first impression See, I would be so impressed do, do the guys if I was ask up. you do they say to you would you like me no. to pick you up they don't even offer no not even no, oh my god this, yeah. this says yeah. so much about where men are really confused at the moment mm. where chivalry has gone out the window exactly and I think a uh, women should take the responsibility of gently demanding that just by saying what time will you pick me up yeah. or you could say Pretty well nice. how are we going to get there and if he then mm. suggests I mean sometimes it may be impossible because of you know he's mm -hmm. one side of the city you're at maybe maybe no, okay so you put all you excuses impress <laughs> yeah that's you go that's make that yeah you do everything to impress I and, agree and, yeah I think I think picking up and then having that self the respect of either being on time when they pick you up and presenting themselves well making a good first impression mm -hmm. making yeah. effort look wise that's as well like you, yes. the first thing you see is the person like you're with that person you want them to look good too. And <laughs> even a yeah. country guy that's not used to dressing in city clothes, yeah. just it doesn't mean you have to have a city style or no. a certain style, as long as you look you like you've groomed yourself. Be yourself, yourself yeah. but yeah. And appropriately for where you're going, I mean, when I talked to the guys about this issue, they said don't come dressed for a nightclub if you're going for dinner. Yes. So Perfect. again, yeah. for men, don't dress like you're going to a barbecue if you're taking someone out for yeah. dinner yeah. or exactly. for a drink. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so what other tips do we have? A really important one for me is I'm a stickler for manners and mm. I cannot stand it mm. when men are rude. Oh, yes. so let's agree. call them staff. Let's say you're yeah. going to move yes. to the person at the ticket or waiters. Um, valet, waiters. It is the first thing that will make me want to physically get up and run from that table. And I think yeah. it is an absolute deal breaker, don't you? Yeah. I mean, for yeah. me, that's it. It's almost it's, like it's, showing off. Like, it is. I hate that. Just, that's that's something that sucks. Like, yeah, it comes back to the respect. Or, for yeah. me, it yeah. reads... Like spending money or... Yes. The yeah, reason is that they are so insecure yeah. that they have to treat somebody else inappropriately to build themselves up. So it reeks to me of red flags, this man is insecure and he's got that's complexes. Yep. Yep. So I just go, nah, I don't want to yeah, you know, worst, bother with somebody that's and, got and chips on their shoulders. Speaking of respect and um, you know being rude, what what would you say about paying for dinner or paying on the? This is a really on big one. Like, what it's do you a really think big one these days. Offering, I would like them to at least offer. Where at if you're going to the movies or dinner, at least offer. Yeah. I would let what them do see. I'd use that in my favour. If yeah. I was stupid enough to go out with somebody, which I don't normally do dinner, yeah. I'd do a drink or a coffee. Mm -hmm. And if it goes well, I step it up. I would never do a first date for yeah. dinner. I've learned my lesson. See, I to do. Is it too awkward? Oh, I, I do. Don't I don't like mind. I like eating I wanna... in front of a complete stranger. That I, I just want to get to know them. them. Either we're going to get to know each other or not. Let's just get it over and done. Let's go the yeah, whole I way. Would agree. Have yeah, good dinner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if it's. Coffee and step it up. Coffee and walk on the tan. I'm hoping that if you're going to accept a first date, you kind of like them enough to think, I could probably handle it for a, a day. You need enough time. Unless it's a, you a blind a really date. You've really good, good you know, a question there. What is appropriate for a first date? And you want them to decide. You want them to mm. say, we're going to dinner or we're doing this, not, oh, what do you want to do? I don't know. You know, it's nothing yeah, they more need unattractive to make than a man. They do need to make a decision. Yeah, yeah. Having said so, that, no. when a man says to me, 
what restaurant do you want to go to? I go, you choose, because yes. it says so much about yeah. him. Yes. So I agree. Oh, guys, you it's just, everything's a test. I'm sorry. <laughs> Everything is, is a test. Oh, I'm just yes. joking. So, Sam, do you have any other first date deal breakers? Um, I, I really, like I said, he needs to make decisions. I think Yes. when you get there, he needs to be just not indecisive the whole time and mm. yeah just don't be rude to anyone don't show off that's my main thing mm, don't yeah. show off because act like you're spending so much money or you know being rude to a waitress just just be cool take it easy cool. just you know yeah be cool really that's what i and what I like. don't Check out other chicks. <gasps> no. Oh yeah. First date. Oh, oh, exactly. Right. We're talking about oh, excellent. Yeah. Checking out, you know, the waitress. <laughs> All the waitress. Off. Yes. Oh, that's just mm. such a deal breaker. No. It's, it no. really, guys, need to know that that's just never going to work no. for us. I'm afraid. Well, girls, that, those are really good <laughs> tips. A great starter. Thank you. And I hope that gave you some insights. And that's our show for today. Thanks for your company. And remember, we love to receive your relationship blogs, your story ideas, and your questions because we want to know what you want to know. So please contact us at naomishow.com if you have any relationship questions for any of our panels or our experts, and we'll see you next time. Your love life, let's talk about it at naomishow.com.